daily prayer sessions. Me and George have been praying together. I just I just noticed that Mikey's been a little down, so I've been I've been taking the time as, really a, not, as a brother dude. and just you know, praying with him. Have you considered taking a ninety day break, bro? I'm not. There's not. I'm not down. I don't. He. Oh, you. I, I think you've always said that. Well, you just look down all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, David loved that one. You guys, you guys been praying? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I, I like to. And by the way, well, I didn't think we were gonna bring that up, but like, oh, I, was it okay if I did? Oh, of course. Yeah. I just didn't want to put you on the spot like that. Oh, are you rolling back because you don't want to talk about any religious stuff? Not at all. I love that. I love that. Hi, you hi. know. Also, I just want to let you guys know. Uh, there's a lot of Christians that come after me when I like do something, and they're like, "That is not a Christian." This is how you do a Christian. And it's like kind of overwhelming, bro. It, that's the only thing that makes me want to stop talking about Jesus. Actually, Christians. No, that's crazy. It's, I think I think faith, religion, belief in general, because not everyone believes the same thing, can be a divisive topic. And it's something, you know, I've definitely learned. I, I, what What is so goddamn funny? When I started hearing you talk about it, I just got so scared for a second. I actually went like this because I thought he was going to punch me in the face. <laughs> bro, <laughs> all right, bro. All right. All right. All right. Stop. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. We're just kidding. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I pray every night. I pray, like I said, I uh, except I, I I do I do gratitude prayers, mm. uh, just because I don't know. I just feel thankful. That's what I feel the energy I want to like yeah. put into the, the universe. How do you guys pray? I'm curious what the what the joint prayer looks like. Uh, so basically, we just talk about whatever weighs on his heart, mm. and then we feel like instead of just like how I pray. For example, if I'm going to work. I don't go like, hey, God, please uh, bless my day of work. I figure out what my work process looks like. So maybe I need to speak with a sharper tongue. Maybe I need to be a better listener. Mm. So I ask God for better quality Specifics. so I could be a, mm. a, a stronger individual for my brothers and sisters around me. And so he does that for me. You know, I, honestly, I know uh, kind of changing topics but staying in the same space. I know that finding your purpose is one of the hardest things to do in life. And I'm sure a lot of the people in the audience watching this and like really anybody on earth has so much trouble. And it's such a lifelong uh, endeavor to find out what you're here for. And I know you do so many things and you're good at so many things. I've tried everything under the sun. But George, when you speak with the, the fuel that is the, the, the book and and god it's like watching an art form like when you when you when i watched you d d describing proverbs to me yesterday and talking to me about w how you internalize that and how you digest it and what it, it, it spit out and meant to you for your life and for my life there's a um there's a flair and a magic that exists within you that is so palpable that i wanted to mention this to you yesterday like Man, fuck those mean Christians, bro. Like you, you like honestly, bro, you got it, dude. Like I could really see you going into that space and really changing people's lives. That's dude. why I'm excited that you started your show. I'm you, finding myself. You have an audience, yeah. dude. This podcast is where I found myself. I know it got shit views because people aren't too happy with me right now. But um, my year in review video was a video I was really proud of. Such a good video. And, yeah. and, and two things I said that you guys just, just said is one, I found myself last year. And two, um, life is just a giant quest to find out who you are and what makes you happy. And um, I'm, I'm thankful that I think because of how much I try to do anyways, I found little snippets of me here and there, and now I have an idea of who I am. Yeah, you like molded it. Yeah, it's 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 just <clears throat> the thing about it is, as people who have put together this kind of mainstream broad platform that is impulsive or any of our like channels that play in this massive YouTube sphere, it's sometimes very uh, intimidating and scary to uh, have an idea or a concept around something niche. And the idea of move, but but it is it can be so impactful totally. and important to move towards your direct and defined purpose. When I speak about addiction, substance abuse, and mental health, that's the any clip you've ever seen of me that's gone viral has all been about one topic yeah. because the viral moments are built out of passion. Yeah, what they what they always say is it's not about what you say; it's about how you make people feel, mm. and you can't make people feel without that passion coming from you. It, it won't be received the right way. And I only have that passion for one or two things in life, and that's helping people that are going through shit and food, to be honest with you. I, lo I love food. <laughs> and, so I, and so my message to you and to anybody out there is if you're having trouble finding success through some broad-based platform, find your niche and take a chance on it. You, you delivered me a great word from Proverbs yesterday, which was along the lines of a small piece 
basically, I'll, I'll paraphrase, a small piece of something purposeful is much bigger than a... How, what, what was the, the so message? It's better to be a little righteous than have a lot of riches with like just nothing but pride in your heart. And the, the overlining story of it is like, and, and this goes for anything, even if you're not biblical, like if you do work and you're just thinking about the money and like, for example, our situation, right? Like a lot of people think, um, and I'm not no disrespect, that I'm only here because of the money. But I'm here because it's making me a, a better person. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm actually taking pieces from my brothers and, and the situation to have a actual spiritual and physical growth. Hey there, if you like the clip, make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right.